All right, hi everyone. So after my horrible summoning luck, I decided to six star a few monsters and I won't be working on summons anymore, at least not for now. You can see I six starred two monsters this week, um, just two days apart. Um, mostly because I'm trying to work on my, um, on a raid team. So that's what I'll kind of talk about a little bit right now. I'm making my video from day by day kind of deal. So uh, I'll put it all together later. Yeah, I'll worry about that later. So as I showed you, um, so nothing there. No, okay. So for was, first was best at, and she was mostly because of her leader skill and all the debuff she has. So with a defense for everybody, a defense buff, it'll be awesome to have around there. Um, the provoke won't help, I'm sure, but she lands all these uh, glancing hits, defense, break and stuff, which will help a lot. I'm doing DS as well, and my progress will be going much faster, but I decided to pull it back from my next six star for my raid team, which is Colleen, because I wanted to farm some of these skill ups, which I don't see why you wouldn't want to farm if you have like uh, if you have basalt or anything like that that you want to work on. So that's what I'm kind of just working on right now. Let's see, Let's see, I need like 920 pieces, so that's what I'll be doing with my time, and instead of using my crystals for summoning. I'm continuing my video today. Um, I finished farming all these mammoths. I'm gonna try to sound a little bit more enthusiastic than usual, but <laughs> we'll see how that goes. So like I told y'all, I was farming mammoths and I finished, I uh, maxed out Basalt. So you see all his skills are maxed out just cause I use them a lot in TOA hard. And I have leftovers in case I want to work on talc or marble later on. Um, where's the at? All right, there we go. So as you can see, I have a whole bunch of skill ups left there. So like I told you, I've been burning through my, my uh, through my crystals because I didn't get any freaking good monsters during my summons in my last summoning session. And I'm not gonna worry about summons. So I have been working on a few monsters uh, I've been working on uh, Bastet's runes, uh, a little bit on Diaz, which I still have to awaken uh, tomorrow, and Colleen. I just got her like two days ago, and she's already five star. I'm about to max her out. I'm about to run Devil XP, and I'm gonna show y'all how I've been my process for six starring recently. Especially since I don't care about my crystals right now, I'm just kind of burning through them real quickly to make sure that's actually activated. I always make the mistake of not activating my Devil not activating my devil XP and then you start burning through energy for no reason. But as you can see, I have a few monsters that I'm actually working on for uh, the raid uh, level three and up. So I have a few six star monsters, a few six star monsters that aren't maxed and two monsters that I actually want to work on, which is Diaz and Colleen there. So right here, I just do this because I mean, once you're, you're on a uh, EXP boost, you kind of just want to hurry up and rush through everything. So I run some of this Rift stuff. Um, I only do it because it's like super quick XP and I want as much XP as possible as quickly as I can. I usually run out of time and I don't want to run out of time. So usually any kind of dungeon that I do is pretty easy with any of these monsters. When I usually do have like three or two six stars lying around that aren't max level and I would like to max them out. So there we go. Um, as you can see, they're doing doing it with no trouble. I mean, if you, if you don't want to waste your crystals, I don't recommend doing this, but I do it just because it's really quick XP and I'm just trying to get it out of the way really uh, quickly to max out these five star, six star monsters. Other than that, um, I'm 
trying to wait for this battle to finish, but. And I'll show y'all where else I uh, just kind of farm for XP in a second. Okay, so as you can see, I won't do all my Rift ones right here, but it's pretty easy to level this way. Then the other way, what else I do is I use friend monsters. So just depending on who I have, I'll do different areas. So I'll show where Veromos is mostly used is like this area. So I'll put, okay. um, sorry about that. I'll probably cut that part out. Um, and I'll throw in just a random monster here. I do need to six star Colleen this weekend, which I well I want to, so I'll throw in like a three star monster here. And here we go. Come on. So you always want to use your friends when you're doing double XP just because um, your friend doesn't waste any of your experience gained. You'll only split the experience between the other three monsters, which everyone should know by now. But so you always want people uh, friends with good reps and this is kind of slow using Veromo sometimes but it's not too bad I mean he solos it so it helps out I'm actually trying to max Diaz and stuff so I have monsters supporting him which might make it go slightly faster but I'm not sure for the most part I've never I don't usually do it like this usually I have like all three star monsters trying to level up Come on, let's go. So you see, it's not too slow with other monsters. Obviously, when you just have a roll, it will go slightly slower, but it's not too bad. It's always a good experience. Alright, so you see there's a decent amount of experience there, and it didn't take that long to me at all. Um, I've been getting lucky. I've, get, I've been having a lot of harpoos in my shop, so I've been scaling up my Colleen easily without having to farm any dungeon. So cool, she's almost max skilled, and... Um, I think that'll con conclude this part of it. I'll finish off once I'm done farming experience and have everyone ready for my raid team. All right, after a lot of work, I finally am ready for raids. Um, I just finished Colleen. Well, she's not max, but for the most part, she's ready. Now this team's okay. Uh, I'm the only one that died last time was Belladon. So I don't know who I'm gonna end up substituting in there. I haven't decided yet. I don't know if I have anyone that can take that spot. Maybe Platy, I'm not sure. But yeah. We'll see. I would love to have Chase Soon there, but I can't seem to pull Chase Soon to save my life. But that's my team right here. I have Basta. I'll wait till my team pops up. So I just, I was about to say, it's going pretty slow. So I have Basta as my leader because she has the all around defense boost, which I think just helps in general. Um, Belladon is like my best healer right now until I get Chase soon. I'm, I'm, I might start working on what's it? The Fire Undine, that's an eye. Or 
the wind ending um, who is it um, Del Foy just because she has uh, immunity or cleanse or whatever plus heals but we'll see how this goes I feel like I have a fairly decent team I worked on Diaz uh, the only problem I have with that is that Unlike using somebody like Darian, it's harder to get his skills up, and all the skill ups that I did have have been used on Brian or Arnold. So hopefully I can get some later on. Then Hua is just there for the, her attack bar reduction, and she has some like slow debuffs and everything. And um, Colleen, obviously, she is a uh, kind of staple for doing raids. And then Konamiya for the cleanse, obviously. It doesn't look like it's... You see, there goes Belladon. I don't know why that happens every time, so... I need to find a replacement for that. See, I think everybody over here is okay because they have Chase soon. And I don't want to be the first one out, which will suck. All right, so I failed before, but I just switched up my team just slightly. I took out Hua and put Platy in just because I guess my Bella is a little bit too low on HP or something. I don't know. So Platy helps out a little bit with her heal ability. Um, so it's working for now. My team is not like the most damage dealing team, but it does survive. So I've done a few runs, it's a test runs before this one to make sure that I'll survive. So I think I can, I'll make it. Um, so these are just some guildies that I have here with me. Um, as you can see, their teams are significantly better than mine's. Um, I wish I had an Ashir to use, so I could have him. And like I said, like I keep saying, I'm missing Chase soon, and there's nothing I can do about that. But hope, I hope I get her one day. Uh, I could do the Wind Undine, but. I really don't know who I want to six star next either. Um, I got a good uh, little rune thingy earlier on my last run. So we'll see what I get this time. I'm liking the raid. I mean, it's not too bad. It is a better way to boost runes up. And... I don't know, my team is pretty is pretty decent here. So I'll just repeat again like what I have. I have best step for her defense boost. Um I assume I could also switch her out for Jameer, do Jameer, because he has a debuff as well. Um and he'll be a speed lead instead of defense though. Um but for now I'll just use her. Then Bella is for heals. Have DS for his uh, um passive ability. And um, he has a few debuffs uh, for his first cut. I think he has like heal block. Then uh, second skill, I believe he has attack decrease. I think and I think defense decrease, defense break. Um, Platy has her like little uh, silence or something, and just a heal. Um, like I said, for Colleen, is just a staple that everyone should have nowadays for like Necro and Raid. And then Konamiya is like a super awesome heal since he resurges so much and on Violent, uh, he's pretty awesome. I just need to max out some of the runes. Uh, since I just worked on all these monsters, none of, uh, a lot of them just have plus 12 runes and not plus 15. So there's room for improvement there. So as you can see, the run is going as planned and it is it's pretty good I'm not I'm not too worried about him I mean it looks like Bella's about to lose right now so we'll see what happens if he actually does die looks like he might make it um, I don't know if somebody's gonna heal or what's going on here there we go I, I mean I have a lot of healers there so I was hoping somebody would bring out their heal soon See, that's ridiculous when I see my whole team get stunned. It's like, Jesus, I have a whole 
turn where I, where I can't do anything. And I do believe my full team is violent, except for fast stat. Well, luckily I lost uh, some of my team at the end, so I didn't really get a chance to die. <laughs> Let's see what I get. A rainbow mod, that's not bad. Oh, you got a pretty decent thing. And I'll just speed through the rest of them. I won't make y'all listen to me talk, you know?